Soupstack Community Center. I think this is the best name I can give it because SS Community Center sounds a little bit strange if you know the history of mankind. Anyhow, for today I would like to make a skit stair and we're going to check out how that thing works and if it will enlighten our work. Also, in the last episode, I ended up with a clip hanger because we have been crafting a science lab and a wind turbine. And I would like to see what that is all about. I haven't touched it because I want to be surprised as the size, what it does and what it gives us. Also, I had a comment saying I need to cut down that very large tree that is happily blocked into the road and I just want to see how long it would take with a chainsaw because if you use a basic axe it's going to take about 80 to 100 hits and you need to repair your axe and the chainsaw should be the best and shortest option of time to cut down a massive tree like that so there are a few couple of exciting things also we're going to make an automated loom now you might say hey but you haven't been really gone into the cotton and since the update came while you're already playing on this map cotton isn't really growing here you're right but there is a different way how i can still make certain fibers that require cotton or something else but i'm going to show you more about that in a second now first of all i'm going to show you the new stuff of the last episode then we're going to see what kind of extra stuff we need to craft in order to make the skits there and while that stuff is crafting i would like to cut down this massive tree and of course clean it up and show you a little bit more about that area and yep let's see so we have the science lab and i really didn't touch it because I hate to spoil before the real thing is going on. Okay, so the side lab needs water in. I believe this is water in. Yeah, and this is water out. It's There's no arrow on this one. I think it's a little bit um, being into the workbench. Uh, but this is a science lab. So what does a science lab? A science lab. Um, CO2 canister. Cutting edge, cooking one, corn starch. What is all of this? For creating fancy foams? Oh, it's like a cream type of deal? Or, you know, like an element in order to make cream or whatever, like those cream canisters. Uh, cutting edge, cooking upgrades, hydro colloids, used to make. To burst of flavor, okay, it's like a uh, it makes the flavor stronger. Liquid nitrogen, yeah, can we make like mm -hmm. quick chilling? What is all of this stuff? Uh, is this like like spices and stuff? What? Oh, hmm. Okay, well, this is, uh, it is interesting. I'm not quite sure, you know, what I have to expect of this. Um, if you know more about this, then let me know in the comment section. I wanted to make actually a building where we're going to do a little bit more of the advanced cooking, as in maybe like an expensive type of restaurant with his own laboratory to create like secret ingredients. This would fit in perfectly, I'll guess. Just let me know. Uh, so that is cool. This is one of the last workbenches you can actually craft in this game. Uh, if it's about end game stuff. And then we have, holy moly, we have this guy. Let's take a look. Does it need an input? It doesn't need any input. And it just works. It works right away. That is awesome. Okay, let's press use. So, oh! Okay, so I, I'm not quite sure what all this stuff is. Like it demands stuff and it requires stuff. Max output. Oh, okay. It also has a max output. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is like super awesome stuff. Now one thing I do know, of course I've seen a little bit of episodes of other people uh, here and there before I actually started this whole stuff myself. Um, of course, not everyone showed like every little detail, but I have seen that some of these people use these in order to place on the top of the high building, which contain the lasers in order to destroy 
the meteor, so you have power way up on the sky, which is going to be very handy. Now, for now, I would actually like to just give it a spot somewhere. I guess the solar park could do, and just leave it there. I mean, it, it's super simple. You just place it down and it works. Um, yeah, I also got a project for this. Now, of course, when we destroy the media, we don't have to immediately, you know, leave. And also, if I made the lasers, we don't have to immediately destroy the media. Um, this is episode 40, I'll guess, and we are on, what is that, 15 days? So, yeah, we are on the half, so we can poop out another 40 episodes. So, we could do a lot of building afterwards anyways. And so, let me see, what would be a nice spot? I mean, you have like a wind park... Uh, maybe I shouldn't be like too difficult about this and just use a nice spot and uh, maybe down there somewhere um yeah and then I would actually like to directly go for the skits there you know maybe maybe here if it's not too large okay maybe uh let's see which oh okay I think it's because the the hill is actually not providing enough space. Where could it be? Where could it be? Maybe just place it near the building. I mean, there is a, a nice little spot over there. Like right down here. And just place it towards the ocean, I wanted to say. Very good. Try that again. Uh, because the ocean, wind, you know, that kind of... I'm doing it again. There we go. I think it's because of this handle, you know, I'm thinking that should be on, on, the, on the front, but it's not. Very good. So, the ocean is providing a lot of wind, and this guy, there is like a power thingy here. So, we are having a ginormous blast of power. Of course, there are a few couple of workbenches that must need to have coal. Uh, I think it's this guy down here, if I'm not sure. Yeah, this guy must have coal. And the blast furnace must have called. It is okay. At least we are reducing the amount of pollution. Uh, the laboratorium. I'm not quite sure this yet. Uh, where I wanted to place it like I said before. So I think it would be a good idea to just place it in here. This is like a stockpile where I got also a few extra. And a spoiler for our automated loom. Because we have nylon. Now, nylon is actually crafted off petroleum, so that was my workaround. I did something wrong here. Um, the nylon is actually a workaround uh, for the cotton, so let's do this the correct way. There we go. Grab some of these, because we are going to need this sooner or later. Now, hmm, I, I'm going to think, or guess, better to say, that the automated loom needs to be in a higher tier building so i wanted to say at first let's just place it in the tailoring building which you know sound the most realistic thing to do um but i quite think i'm going to need to place it right here uh, so one thing that i wanted to do before is place the computer lab in the office but that's not how it's going to work so i'm going to get this thing away and i have an idea for this thing to fake something out um, along with a few couple of other things because what does this thing also looks like a gas station pump that's right I actually don't know if there are gas station pumps in here because I think you just need to put the whole barrel in a vehicle Um, you know role-playing aspect we can make a gas station maybe right so this guy is going to be stored right in this stockpile and then we're going to take the carpentry table uh, which kind of looks like out of place here which I mean everything looks like metal and stuff so this guy is going to go into what I wanted to do is called the office and uh, because I think the automated room would be way too big to fit in here this is just uh, you know a carpentry spot for someone you know not like that all right, uh, so in this case, the skid steer, right, is right down here. The skid steer, I already dropped in a few couple of components, uh, like a gearbox. I already got that uh, steel plate. I already got that. 
But there are a few couple of new things that I don't have and you know I wanted to wait with these new things until you guys were here with me. So one of the new things first on the list is actually nylon fabric which I got some nylon stored already. Now the nylon fabric is crafted at the automated loom. Now let's go and see where I need to craft the automated loom. I guess it's in this guy right down here. Uh, automated loom. Yes, indeed. I would like to have one of these. Oh man, I'm, I'm. I've noticed in the last episode, uh, at some point, to get way too exciting, and I start doing all kinds of voices. Um. So yeah, that will happen with me. Uh, Anywho, uh, the next thing is a advanced combustion engine. Now, of course, I already took care for a few couple of basic things that we already been crafting before. The only thing that I guess we already have crafted well, but uh, let's do that electric machinist thing. No, 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 no. This is the electric machinist table. It's just kind of odd, I would say. We're going to need also have new things like a steel pipe and or steel gearbox. Now the steel gearbox, we finally get to use the what I like to call the Cadillac, which is not making any steel gearboxes. Okay, seriously, it's over here. I need one. I think I didn't really. Uh, yeah, one. And we need to have two steel pipes. Now I do already know that the steel pipes are crafted at the and uh, blast furnace. Now. Why steel pipes, not just iron? Well, it is not just because steel pipes is just next level stuff. Steel pipes is also a thing which you can use in higher tier buildings when you need to make like pipes for machineries. And if you use copper, the tier will go lower. And if you use steel pipe, the tier will be higher because it says tier three stuff. And we're going to need to have some steel, uh, which is uh, going to be very nice because I have crafted some more steel. I would like to have two steel pipes, please, thank you. Now, I'm really happy that we're going to make this skid steer because if there is one thing for me at the moment that is a little bit cringy to continuously, um, you know, to get as a resource, it is sand. Yes, sand. I even started out here because I couldn't be bothered to go all the way around the corner once again, take the shovel out right down here and keep shoveling, 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 because every day I'm shoveling and I'm getting tired of it. Um, so yeah, it is good that we get the skid steer because the skid steer, I don't know, strange name, uh, we get the opportunity to just, you know, get the whole hump of ground and just uh, save it up in that thing, get some more hump of ground. And I believe it has its own inventory, or you can either choose to get a hump and then drop it in here, which uh, is really realistic, but I'm going to go for the inventory deal. It's going to be so much more easier. Um, it is also for, you know, certain places where uh, digging is going to be so much more satisfying, because everyone would like to use a skid there. I mean, it is just... First of all, fun to use, and second of all, it's going to save a massive amount of time, which is just um, very satisfying. Uh, we have the old brick factory uh, area, and that area needs to be digged out. I could take a shovel, but you know, it just starts to get boring, it starts to take a lot of time, and this kit there is just... It's gonna be fun, or at least I hope the controls allow it to be fun, and it's gonna be quick! It, it's yeah it's uh, it's god happens gift now, of course you also have the excavator which is gonna be fun if you need to like um you know need to for example cut down a little bit of this mountain with a skid stair you cannot really go all the way up in the top right and if you need to use your big axe you could you know try to climb it and cut down a few pieces and clean it up cut down clean cut clean cut clean you know but if you have the excavator, you can just put this arm up, well maybe not this high, but you get the deal here. You can get the arm up and you can just dig from this area position. And this stuff will be, I think, also saved up in the inventory. Uh, or you could put a car here, you just dig, go here, drop it into the, the back of the truck. 
you can just have a bit of fun with it, right? Uh, maybe after a long, long while it starts to become normal, maybe boring, and you would like to have uh, one of these um, most biggest excavators in the world, um, which are absolutely ginormous. Would be an idea for this game. Uh, Anywho, I think the uh, steel pipes are done, which I probably already put it in the inventory to stockpile meanwhile I was uh, mumbling for hours away uh, which would also be handy if I next time check how many valves I'm going to need because I'm going to need to have uh, let me see four we need three because I needed three valves and three valves means I'm going to need to have three steel gearboxes and I'm going to need six steel pipes Ah, what is nature such a great thing to clean your head, take some rest, take a fresh breath. You don't have to think about all the industry, society, responsibilities. Okay, maybe you got a little bit of extra danger here and there, but yeah, would be good. Anyhow, my steel pipes are done. For some reason, the steel gears is like complaining because uh, I didn't add enough labor. Which is going to be very handy. Anything else? Well, I'm thinking uh, the automated loom should be done right here, right now. And it's right here. Please let it be enough space. Oh, Jesus. By far, it's not enough space. Uh, well, one thing I can do. I mean, I can reach the Cadillac from here. But what I can also do in order to make it a tiny touch more realistic I just move it up like that you know it is yeah uh, let me just do this the other way around even though buttons are on this side okay that you know let's leave it like that and then i'm going to move this guy up right down there and then this guy can perfectly fit right in there beautiful all right uh -huh. we are going to need Oh no! But what? Okay, okay, okay. Nylon thread is added at spin melter. Oh, and the spin melter is crafted at the electric machinist table. Oh, so we're going to need to have more area space. A uh, spin melter. Probably at the S right on there. Going to have more steel plates and more of these um, uh, circuits. So I'm just going to go full ham on the circuits here because uh, then I need more glass. So oh, crap. Okay, we're going to have a couple of these, which is uh, three, which means that we can have one, two, three. Going to have more copper. Ay, 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 caramba. That's not going to be very handy. And uh, meanwhile, I'm also going to have more steel plates, which is crafted at this point. Right down here. You know what? Let's grab 10. 15. Okay, what do you want? There we go. So things are rolling, things are going. We just need a few couple more. Here we go again. These sand, man. And so, meanwhile, things are going. It is time to cut this big boy down. Now, I don't know why I feel so sorry of it. Maybe because I really, really promised myself to not cut it down. Uh, but it's a little bit inside the way of the, you know, the driving system. There are tons and tons of these trees around the area. I actually cut a few couple down right down here. I left that one big boy over there. Now, on a multiplayer server, you really want to try to avoid cutting down these trees. And a lot of multiplayer servers also have rules that you are not allowed to cut these trees. Because these trees are one of the big boys that actually take away the bad pollution. So you can imagine that if everyone starts cutting these big boys down for the massive amount of wood you're going to get, you're going to also get a massive amount of problems. So before I was saying you need to have uh, with the basic axe, you're going to need to cut like 80 to 100 times and you need to repair that thing and then cut some more. I wonder how it goes with this guy, how long it will take. Going to need to cut it down, I want to try to just between in the road there. Wow, that took not much time at all. That, that 
I tell you this, man, if you do the, the basic axe, it's going to take you a few couple of minutes, so... But it does add a little bit more realism. Now... I still want to aim out this ground, but I'm going to do that off camera and fix the road off camera. Uh, I want to place a few couple of new trees back, so... You know, we're not only going to take, we're also going to give. Now I've been thinking, if you have any ideas for filling in a floor with some fun stuff, let me know. Like, maybe we need a canteen in the community center, a chilling room, we might need to have some offices, um, bathrooms, we're going to have, uh, of course, the boss office for me, and yeah. Just let me know if you got some ideas for certain floors, maybe you have a better idea than I just uh, been saying so, and then we can just... Uh, fill in the blank. This is our office, okay? Or our center uh, community stuff building. Um, so yeah, you, you get to decide too what we need to uh, place in this building. Oh yes, I, I just... These windows are so nice. I really love them. I only wish, okay? I only wish this game had a few couple more statues, like smaller ones, so you can put it on the uh, that pillar, you know, like art type of deal, or that you have very tiny little pots, you know, you can have tiny little plants. Maybe I need to um, give this to developer this feedback. There it is. It just needs sometimes a few couple of resets. So we're still waiting for the valve and uh, the maze. I need to make like extra gears and stuff. And uh, the valve is crafted at this boy, which can now three of these. Very good. Mm -hmm. So the valves are on the way. Then we are going to need to have two radiator. And I believe the radiator should be crafted at this guy. We need to have two of these, and then the combustion engine modern type of deal. Uh, the advanced is ready. Then the skits there. Other components are this, which we are working our way towards to. We're also going to have two extra radiators for whatever reason, and we're going to, need to have one steel axle. So we're going to get to work to uh, with this big boy here. You know what? Crap. What are you missing? Just steal. Just craft two of these, please. But I get a few couple down here, so let's just steal those ones. Mm hmm. Uh -huh, that is done. That is done. Wait, two extra because when I make the um, the engine, it will take two away. So let's do that. And I think the last thing that I seen here was uh, wheels. Even though, yeah, okay, it uses wheels, no tracks. Wheels are crafted at electric machinist table. I wonder what they use for rubber. Wheels, we need to have synthetic rubber. Now give me a second here. Why is it saying chew? I mean... That is a lot better. Okay, mm -hmm. synthetic stuff. Which is crafted at the ore refinery. Um, so for one wheel we need four. So let's just say we need to craft 100 uh, synthetic rubber. I mean, that is the calculation you can always calculate on. You know what, let's go for um, this amount. <laughs> I cannot do more, so that's fine. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, yeah. Um, I already know what I wanted to add on those pillars though. I see any steel floor lamp now. Oh, oh, I can do steel table lamps. I just need one light bulb. Light bulbs, I believe, crafted that this bad boy, which probably requires some glass. Um, okay. Uh, hold. Okay. Also, hold. I want to create. I want to create this amount of that, and then. Let's create some extra fiberglass again. Well, let's keep it on 10. If I really need more, I can always grab more. But for now, you know, I would like to create uh, lamps and place them indoors to see how it looks like. Okay, let's just start off with one. Okay, I think I have two. Yeah, I got two light bulbs. 
Man, I am all over the place. Uh, another thing that I would like to do, actually, now I'm at it, is take a look at... Spin Melta. Now, this can also be a ginormous guy. It can be. Uh, it is not really, at this moment. Mm, well, I said that I wanted to place it up here, though. For now. I'm not going to use it that much. So, what was the deal again? Oh yeah, I needed to make nylon treats. Treats. <sighs> I'm just going to say, let's craft 50 of these um, for now. You know, just because why not? And we already have one lamp. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. It just took a little while. You know, that is fine. There is no statue, there is no plant, but this is fine too. Hmm, two plates are coming, this is coming, that is coming, this is already there, and that is there. Uh, how are the rubber? The rubber was made uh, one of these, and then we could make wheels. Oh yeah, it is made at the... Uh, mm -hmm. Two, three, uh, four, uh, four wheels. Okay, 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 okay. Exciting, exciting. That stuff is just going like crazy. Yes, <laughs> one advanced combustion engine, please. And when you're done with that, I would like to have one skid steer, please. Oh, yes, I need more steel. <laughs> Nine seconds, and then the game crashes. The recording got corrupt. Oh boy. Look at this modern deal right down here. You're going to be, you're gonna be a witness straight away of a, a beautiful screenshot that has been taken right down there. So let's take a look at this uh, guy. Okay, it's out of here. Logic, logic. Hmm, that kind of stuff. Not really interested. Uh, their fuel supply and their storage. It has five slots. Uh, 2800 it can carry you know i'm not gonna complain about you know like slot stuff because in real life it only has this thing down here right so i think uh we get a lot for liquid fuel oh you can also use biodiesel oh boy oh boy uh you know just control left and right Watch him back. Oh, so oh, it's a bit funky, though. <laughs> funky indeed. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, hold to dick. Uh, don't count. Oh. Oh, okay. You know what? It's not too bad. You know, I actually like the way how it says hold to dick and not like if I'm just driving like this, I'm just scraping the ground up. I like that. That's a nice system. Uh, one battle can be used up to... It said 28 just about. Um, I think it's like 30 minutes per barrel. Can we also... Yeah, then I can see a little bit more. Okay, yeah, it is fine. It is... It's... Ah, uh, of course, of course. I see. Normally, you know, with cars, you're holding like the steer and gas at the same time, right? So you can turn, but this thing doesn't need to hold gas in order to turn. Uh, we need to get used to that. This is actually freaking handy because right here, I'm only steering and I don't have to drive. Oh, okay. Not too bad. Hey, not too bad. I mean, yeah, sure, and no, not, but yeah. It goes a lot faster than this, because if I would do this with a shovel, I need to switch to a pickaxe, and then it's like, oh, your hands are full, I need to walk back to my car, I need to empty it out. Now, the only thing that is, well, not all the way, I want to say a little bit hot, 
is the top there, but it looks like it's kind of respectable that it not like has like a bubble around it, which it's going to destroy everything. Yeah, I am enjoying. Shoveling is not enjoying. This guy does the job. And of course you can just do that. Okay. Now to one of the fun stuff, right? Will this work? No, I don't want to take it. I want to dump it. <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong. Uh, so you need to press forward to go up and backwards to go down. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm exhausted. <laughs> but holy moly, that is a lot of fun. Yeah, I can handle a lot more. But, oh. Okay, you know, you can get a little components like this. And you can just, you know, with the hand. Clean it up. But, yeah, that's fun. Wow, okay. Um, Can we actually... Yes, we can. So, if you would like to... Give this guy a name, you know, you can give it a name, like a brand name, or, you know, give this little guy a personal name, or something like that. Let me know down below in the comment section, and I'm just going to, uh, you know, leave it with this. I will have to see what we're going to do for the next time. Maybe a pickup truck, maybe an excavator, maybe a laser beam. Just have to see for now. Thanks for watching.